my channel if you are new here welcome welcome my name is Amarachi Nzekwe and I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle youtuber currently living and working in Kauna State Wing yeah please do not forget to subscribe and go through my other videos I'm sure you'll find like a couple videos that may interest you so today I am doing the get to know me tag so here's the thing eh I mean this YouTube thing for the long haul right like and you all have been to be seeing my face so I just feel like it's proper that I do a get to know me tag so that you know me, you understand me and know who is this person that has been putting out videos and plans to put out more videos and basically get to know me, Sha. So let's get right into it. I'll be answering a couple questions that I got off the internet. I also asked on Twitter and Instagram and just very few people asked some questions that I would also be answering. Okay, so the first question is what is my full name and what does it mean? Uh, my full name is Amarachi Zikwe. Let's just keep the second name. So yeah, my name is Amarachi Zikwe. Amarachi is an Igbo uh, name. Igbo is a language that the southeastern part of Nigeria speaks. So, and it means grace of God. So my name means grace of God. So if you call me Grace, yeah, still calling me my name. Yeah, so uh, that's what my name means. Zekwe is my surname. I don't know how to explain what Zekwe means. It's like, Ze is like, see, let me just, let me, let me just, <laughs> before I, I say rubbish, so let me just, just stick with my first name. Yeah, so what are my nicknames? My nicknames, so most of my friends and most people who know me call me Amy, which is what I have been going by for, um, the later part of my life but at home my family they call me different things Mimichi, Masque, Mimisko and see there are plenty <laughs> yeah but I think that the most popular is anything any derivative of Mimi so most of them are derivatives of Mimi or Ama or Amara and but my friends call me Amy where did I grow up and where do I live now uh I grew up in Aba Abia State, which is also a state in the south eastern part of Nigeria. So I was born there. I had my primary education there. And for secondary school, I moved to Lagos and I had my secondary school in Lagos, after which I moved to Ife and had my university education in Ife, after which I moved to Ibadan. And I worked for a couple years in Ibadan before I came here, which here means being Kaunas, Lithuania. So yeah, those are the places that I have lived, including where I grew up, where I was born, and all of that. So pick whichever one you want out of them. Um, what was my childhood like? That's the next question. What was my childhood like? Hmm. So what I remember from my childhood is that my father was very strict. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that growing up, I used to be afraid of my father. Uh, I was closer to my mom. We were a very religious family. I remember always having morning devotion in the morning, never missing church. Basically, my mom, you know, tried to raise us to be good Christian children, and I was scared of my father. But at some point, I it became obvious to me that <laughs> I was my father's favorite. And yeah, I'm a proper daddy's girl. <laughs> yeah, so uh, growing up, I wasn't so close to my father, but. At some point when I became an adult, I got closer and closer to my father and now we are like super close, super, super close. We talk like almost every day and we can talk about lots of things. We have lots of things in common. So it's just easy to be his favorite and it's just easy to always talk to him. What is my personality type? Um, so I have taken the 16 personality type, uh, uh, what is it? um survey or what is it called yeah i should have taken it and the two times that i have taken it i have gotten enfp which is the campaigner so i'll just you know read a brief description of what of who and who a campaigner aka enfp is 
So it says that the campaigner personality is a true free spirit. They are often the life of the party, but unlike types in the explorer role group, campaigners are less interested in the sheer excitement and pleasure of the moment than they are in enjoying the social and emotional connections they make with others. Charming, independent, energetic, and compassionate, the 7% of the population that they comprise can be can certainly be felt in any crowd so basically we are extroverts and we are the life of the party mm, i think that it's mostly accurate i could be the life of the party when i'm in my elements so yeah and i am free-spirited and carefree so i think it sort of rightly describes me yeah so the next question is what are my hobbies hmm. What are my hobbies? The things that I absolutely love to do is one travel. I love to travel a whole lot. Even when I was in Nigeria, traveling is something that I never get tired of. Uh, yeah, I love to travel. I also love to read books. Uh, I love to read books. I love to. I love to bring people together. I love to help people have fun, if that makes sense. So you can call me the turn up queen, like they used to call me back in school. But yeah, I like organizing events parties programs hangouts whatever that will bring people together and whatever will make people happy so those are my hobbies uh the next question is what countries have i been to okay i think that this is you know appropriate since i said that i love to travel so uh the countries that i've been to if we are counting nigeria so i'll count nigeria because i grew up there so i definitely have been there so nigeria then benin republic benin republic shares a border with nigeria uh, then Togo. Togo shares a border with Benin Republic and Ghana. Ghana shares a border with Togo. So it was a road trip that I took in 2019. In fact, I think that I should piece together, you know, the video clips I made from that trip and upload it on my channel. I still have it. So um, then I moved to Lithuania last year and I have been to Greece, uh, Latvia and then Lithuania. Yeah, so those are the countries that I have been to. And I really, really, really hope to I really hope to uh, visit more because like travel is something that I know that I will be doing for the rest of my life. So yeah, the plan is to visit many more. Uh, what are my favorite books? So I think that this question, eh, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I answer it practically anymore, but I have three favorite books since like 2017 or 2018 and i'm not changing it even if i found books that i probably enjoy more which i probably just don't take note of it because these three books have already been marked somewhere in my mind as my favorite books number one is a man called ove yeah the second one is the book thief the book thief was my first ever favorite book so um the book thief a man called ove and when breath becomes air now when breath becomes air is non-fiction and i cried a lot and i just loved it i think that the similarities between these three books are that i cried a lot they made me feel things they made me feel a lot of things <laughs> so that's probably why i love them the next question is uh what is my favorite color my favorite color is blue on most days i think blue is a pretty cool color before blue it was purple now I think I'm moving to yellow. I think yellow is a very, very bright and beautiful color and it sort of describes how I feel on most days. So yeah, I would say blue and yellow. Who is my celebrity crush? <gasps> Beyonce! Yeah, I just love Beyonce because she's Beyonce. And I also love Genevieve Naji. I have loved Genevieve Naji since I was a kid. I can't remember not loving her. <laughs> yeah, so those are my two celebrity crushes. Who are my favorite? Who are my favorite artists? Uh, my favorite artist, uh, I'm not even sure that I can say that I have favorite artists, but the people that I, I thoroughly enjoy their music, I enjoy Ed Sheeran's music, I enjoy Primo's music, I enjoy... I think that generally, I, there are people who I enjoy their music, but I can't say that this is my favorite artist. I, I also love Sia and I love... Who else do I love? I love Fun. Fun is a band. Yeah, those are the people I can remember, but... Honestly, I listen to anything. If I enjoy a song or if I enjoy an album, I will keep playing it. So I think I just have like favorite bodies of work and not particularly a favorite artist. The next question is, what are my life goals? Hmm. This question is very deep. What are my life goals? Thinking about it, I mean, I think that what's most important and what I feel like I exist to do is 
to love people and to live basically i know that's very vague and sounds quite political but whatever it is or whatever direction that i'll take in my life it's it's it would always i just wanted to you know um inspire people of course i plan to you know get to the top of my career i plan one of my goals is to you know work in one of the big five uh yeah i also like want to be a ceo of a multinational that is one of my major life goals be the ceo of a multinational sounds huge and far-fetched but yeah also one of my life goals is to travel at least 50 countries that's even like that is me being uh me being modest because it shouldn't be so hard to visit 50 countries in my lifetime but at least 50 countries those are one of my life goals too uh yeah basically get to the top of my career have kind empathetic kids uh that i would raise you know to be good people and love people and show people you know that they could live and be the best version of themselves yeah so that's it again it sounds very deep and i don't know if my answer suffices but that's how i see it what do i love and hate most about myself so what i love most about myself is that i love people if that makes sense like it comes easy for me to be to be kind to people and to be empathetic i love that i'm a people person and i love that you know it's my personality helps me be kind and and I, it doesn't feel like me going out of my way so that's what i love most about myself the fact that i genuinely care about people and i don't have to fake it and what i hate most about myself is the fact that i don't believe in myself as much as other people believe in me uh i i don't know if i should say that i am too critical of myself and it's something that i don't like to be fair also there is reason for it because also i'm also a procrastinator and i can be very lazy so i hate those about myself and that's probably what makes me not believe in myself enough if that makes any sense it makes sense in my head i hope it makes sense to you so yeah the next set of questions i'll be answering are the questions that came from social media so uh jadisala asks what asked me to talk about my programming journey how i started and what inspired it so first of all i'm actually not a programmer i do not code i'm not a developer i am a software tester and in as much as you know it's it also involves writing automation scripts and all i wouldn't call myself a programmer or a developer yeah I'm more of a tester and how did i start on this journey and what inspired it to be honest I can't even think of what it was but I mean I studied computer science in school and I came out and the first job I got was a QA job, a quality assurance job. So it wasn't like I knew that this was what I wanted to do and I was going for it. It just so happened that it was the first job that I got and that is how I got here and what has inspired me so far. I don't know. <laughs> I think tech is fascinating. I love the whole I love the whole possibilities that are bound in tech and that is why I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I, I'm inspired by people around me. I'm inspired by people who, you know, have gone ahead of me to, to you know, rise in their careers. They inspire me every day and they make me believe that, you know, I can be whatever I want to be and I can get to the highest level of my career. I don't know if that answered the question, but yeah. Uh, the next question today, today asked me what my retirement plans are. It's so weird because I haven't thought about retirement plan in a long time. I mean, when I was when I was in Nigeria or when I yeah when I was in Nigeria, it was easy. My retirement plan was you know save money, keep putting money into my pension fund. Um, I don't know, put money in my money markets, just like make this money grow and invest and it was sort of my retirement plan. But now I'm out. In fact, I even have some money in my pension. I, I don't know if I can take it out, but right now, to be honest, I don't, I haven't given a lot of thoughts to retirement and I really should. I know that I really should and I will think about it and <laughs> maybe the next time you ask me this question, I will have a solid answer. For that uh azim osai asks when and why did i join isec so for those who don't know isec is a is an international youth 
not-for-profit organization that believes in the peace and fulfillment of humankind potential and they facilitate cross-cultural experiences. So I was an ISEC or I was a member of ISEC in university. Uh, so yeah, he's asking when I joined ISEC and why I joined ISEC. I joined ISEC in 2016 yeah or 2015 i don't remember i think 2015 but <laughs> i joined isec after three trials and i just really wanted to be part of the organization right so i joined and i i was vice president before i left and it was just a cool experience right so i joined isec because i i felt like i could be part of something i wanted to be part of something outside school you know something i could relate to so i joined and that's how i discovered my love for traveling because i traveled quite some <laughs> when I was in ISEC and yeah, I don't know what else to answer as regarding that. But really, if you are in school, if you're in any Nigerian university, in fact, not even Nigerian university, wherever you are, if there's ISEC in your university, I would strongly encourage you to join ISEC. It's one of the best things that happened to me in my undergraduate years and I think you'll be better for it. Lily asks, how am I so strong? First of all, I don't think that I am strong. So I don't even know how to answer that question. So it's not that I'm strong, right? It's just that I have the ability to to remain <laughs> free-spirited. Yeah, I don't know how to answer that question. But yeah, I don't think that I am as strong as you think that I am. I'm sure that people will be interested in this last question. So the last question is, uh, why did I start my YouTube channel? Uh, I started this YouTube channel. The first time I started was I think 2017 or 2018. I don't recall, but I just wanted to document stuff. I mentioned that I loved to travel and I figured that it would be nice if I made videos of my travel experiences and put it up here. That was the plan from the beginning. I let my channel life follow and I decided to revive it this year. And why did I decide? I think it has to do with the lockdown. I'm at home and I'm like, why not? I could make videos and upload. So that is why I started this channel. Also, I'm more of a talker than a writer. So I'd rather talk about my experiences and show people than write about it. So I just feel like this is a better channel of expressing myself. And like I said, when I started this video, I am in this thing for the long time so you're going to have to get used to seeing my face i used to watching my videos and generally just you know let's connect let's interact if you are new to my channel if you stumble across my channel you know just mention and reach out and i hope that i can form a bond with whoever subscribes to my channel however little way i do that so yeah uh this is the end of uh this video and I hope that you know a little more about me and you are willing to go on this journey with me so please do not forget to subscribe if I haven't please it's very important <laughs> please it's very important that you subscribe because I also notice that you know most of people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel so please please it it's it's kind of some a motivation for me and I also believe that I can serve you one way or the other so please uh, subscribe to my channel click the bell button beside the subscribe button because it helps notify you when I upload videos and please if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to other people thank you for sticking to the end and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>